cameraman. I'm the guy behind the cameras, and I'm sometimes in front of the cameras whenever I get a chance. And Scott will be joining us later on. Scott and George from the Stew. Uh, they'll be here in a little bit. Uh, they were actually in Porterville today for the TAPS boot camp with Brick Griffith and Amy Bruni. They're all out there uh, uh, investigating the haunted places uh, in Porterville. And they said they're, they're going to come by here uh, at the birthday party. So we are live right now. See that everybody went outside. Uh, something's going on outside, so I'm here all by myself in the haunted Weldon House. So thanks everybody for watching us uh, on PTN. Thanks PTN for actually uh, giving us a, a channel uh, here for for the birthday bash. Uh, a lot of the PTN uh, viewers, uh, Secret Sign, Cookie, uh, Ghost Watchers, Sandy Lovejoy. Bella, Skirt, Zombie Legs, Kelly, and everybody else who's joining us. Thanks for, for watching tonight. Uh, um, uh, much love to everybody. Much love to you. Hey, Bella. And uh, we're going to have another live investigation. If you guys watched the, the live uh, investigation we did back in December, we caught a lot of amazing stuff. Uh, we had a Frank Spock session in the dining room which is adjacent to this room that um, if you were, if you watched it and you saw that they, we actually witnessed the passing of a spirit on to the other side, to through the light. Uh, uh, we had uh, one of the meetup members uh, from Angie Matthews, uh, the meetup group, bring in an original Frank's box, an original Frank's box, not the Radio Shack hacks or none of the new ones an original one and uh, we witnessed the passing of, uh, of a spirit on uh, towards the light uh, a spirit that was uh, seemed to be have been trapped uh, it was a uh, sort of like a girlish uh, agonizing uh, cry that we heard through the Frank's box and we still can't explain it to this day we don't know if it was a radio broadcast of a woman crying but we don't usually hear that kind of thing on the radio so, uh, as far as we know, that was an actual spirit on the Frax box, and uh, it was very, very scary uh, event that happened here back in December. You can watch that. Go to YouTube, look up the Wolf, Ma the not the Wolfman, the Weldon House. Uh, look up Weldon House live, and you can see that actually when it happened, uh, it's it's on YouTube, and it was a scary experience. And, and of course, I was behind the camera when that happened, and uh, it was very scary. Uh, of course, we're back here today for Alex's birthday, and uh, uh, thanks everybody for for joining us. Uh, uh, I said this earlier, but if you missed the stew last night, the paranormal stew, our archive recorder did not work, so we didn't we were not able to save the the show from last night. So if you go to the stew channel and you play it, it's an older show because we weren't able to save it, something was wrong with the recorder, so we'll try to get the footage, we still have the footage from the cameras, we still have the skits uh, that we can air, we're going to probably uh, post them up, uh, rebroadcast some of that stuff so we can let everybody watch what happened last night in the stew, very exciting. Of course Scott's going to be joining us later on and uh, we have a lot more guests coming in, uh, so uh, th thanks everybody for for joining us here at the Weldon House live. I don't usually do a show. This is not so well, not since the December live show. So yeah, it's, it's exciting to be a, a show uh, stream host because uh, I'm usually the cameraman and uh, I'm the only one here right now. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Alex went outside and everybody's. Uh, meeting and greeting out there. But yeah, we're going to have a ATC session, EVP sessions live right now. As you're watching, we are live. This is not recorded. I can see everybody in the chat room. Uh, um, uh, if you're in the, studio, in the PTN uh, chat room, I can see you. And if you are watching from the Fresno Time Lords, uh, a chat room on uh, the channel I posted the link so you can join us on the PTN chat so uh, thanks everybody for joining us now 
I know everybody's excited about StuCon, and I know Scott says don't advertise it. You know, that we don't want to advertise StuCon, but um, it's going to be a, an exciting event. Uh, we already got a lot of stuff planned for it. Uh, we have um, we're going to have a live DJ karaoke. So there's going to be live music, uh, live karaoke. We're going to have everybody have fun. Uh, so we have a lot of a lot of uh, cool things planned for StuCon. It's going to be in August. Uh, so look it up. Go to Scott's uh, Facebook for updates. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be up in the Broken Bit, which is uh, about 45 minute drive from here in Fresno up the mountains and a very remote area. It's a large property where you can um, explore the property. There's caves, there's old Indian uh, ritual sites, there's uh, not a, a lot of stuff. It's an old graveyard, Indian burial ground graveyard that was accidentally discovered out there. So it's a very large property, a lot of room to work with. And, and I uh, hope whoever's joining us on StuCon, it's going to be fun. Thanks, every, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I want to know what's going on. I can't take the camera everywhere because uh, I'm only uh, able to to reach as far as this room. I cannot take the camera outside to see what everybody's doing. Uh, we don't have the, that kind of setup today. It's a very simple setup for the broadcast. So I wish I could show you all around the the Weldon House, but we're stuck here in this room. Okay, Bella, the title for the Frank's box is uh, number 56 from Frank Sumption, who was the inventor of the Frank's box. It was his model. So it was number 50, number 56 of uh, um, Jen, uh, who, who owns that that Frank's box, that's where what she says, and it's not an actual hacked version; it's an original one that's designed especially for that. So you cannot find it anywhere unless you maybe look at uh, eBay. Somebody selling it. So it's a very rare opportunity to to experience an actual Frank's box, original Frank's box session here at the Weldon House. It was exciting. Yeah, if you want to see it, go to YouTube. Uh, look up. Weldon House Live, you'll find that, that video of what happened here back in December. That was exciting. And we're, of course, we're planning to do another live investigation pretty soon here at the Weldon House. We don't know exactly when. Uh, along with tonight's uh, uh, birthday investigation tonight, but another uh, full fledged, uh, you know, all around investigation like the one we did back in December, we're probably going to do that again with just uh, me, George, and Scott, and uh, it's going to be exciting. We'll probably have the house to ourselves, and we'll try all kinds of crazy things. Uh, okay. Watching everybody on chat, I got the wolf banner on on one of these screens and I'm watching uh, the chat room on one of these screens so uh, don't mind me looking around in different directions. Now, uh, since uh, if you, those of you know Alex, he's a great guy. He, he's had a, a very tough history. He lost his mom when he was young uh, through a, a violent... Uh, uh, somebody Somebody uh, took his mom out of an uh, act of violence and that, that stuck with him ever since he was young and he's tried to, to you know, move on from such a tough situation. So uh, Alex is, he's a very uh, kind guy, he's, a, he, he's fun to be with, he, he loves being in the chat rooms, he's uh, uh, so much into the paranormal and into uh, all these uh, shows like Doctor Who, uh, 